Corey, a massive victory at the weekend. Uh, Lee Johnson came out after the game, said the dressing room was like a nightclub. Um, just give us a little insight as a player. How much does a result affect the mood in the camp after a game? Um, yeah, obviously the boys were buzzing. Uh, the music, because obviously playing, um, um, it was nice to celebrate a win. I think the boys enjoyed that. Obviously, it's been a frustrating time trying to get that for a while, and um, uh, we we really enjoyed getting that important victory on the on, on the weekend. And uh, yeah, we had a obviously a little celebration of the win after they weren't anything major, you know. Um, just in, enjoyed the moment, got back on the coach, uh, got our food, and we're just getting ready now for the next game. Who's in charge of the playlist in the dressing room? Yeah, so, uh, well, it was a funny one because in the week we went to an event um, and uh, there's a guy from Bristol called Mikey Freedom and uh, he, he, uh, he, he actually sang at the event a song called Devotion and um, yeah, after the game, obviously the gaff said it was like a nightclub but we actually put his song on because he performed in the week. Um, he performed a song called Devotion and uh, Aaron Wilbraham always sorts some music and he, he kind of stuck that on straight after the win. So it was quite, it was quite funny and all the boys were buzzing and uh, enjoyed that because obviously we had just seen him perform in the week. So yeah, that was, that was who sorted it. It was the first away win since September. How aware were you as players of that statistic? Yeah, of course we were aware. I mean, it's, it's no secret. I think everyone in the country and knows that we haven't we haven't obviously won for a while and um yeah it was it's, that's that's all in the past anyway and all we can do is focus on the next game and that's uh, all we can do as players and uh we knew it was a massive game and obviously i've just me personally just kind of come back in the fold the last four or five games so i'm still just enjoying kind of playing obviously been out a lot this season most of the season so uh, me personally, I'm trying to just enjoy every game and um, enjoy every moment as it comes because obviously when you're out for a long time, you, you do miss football a lot. So you try not to f uh, think about those things. Obviously, they are in the back of your head, so they can affect um, affect the way the way you play and the confidence and stuff. But um, yeah, we just we just went into it knowing we've got a win. Um, and uh, yeah, when when that goal went in in the 88th minute, it was it was a great feeling. Corey Smith, right back. Did you ever think you'd hear that? Um, <laughs> I've, I've played there, I think, once before under uh, under the gaffer when I was at Oldham. Uh, I think we had a bit of a injury crisis, um, so I played there, um, done done decent. And uh, you know, just, like I said, when you've been out for for a long time, um, you just enjoy enjoy being out on that pitch and uh, wherever. Wherever I get get put towards this end of the season, um, I'll just go out there and, like all the fans know, I'll always give 110%. And um, wherever I play on the pitch, and I'll just go out there and do my best. And um, yeah, so we got the win, so that's the most important. Do you speak to other members of the squad? I know you're very close with Mark Little. Do you speak to him about playing that position, or how did you find the transition? Um, to be fair, obviously Litz has been injured, so I haven't really been able to speak to him out on the training training pitch. But um, uh, obviously, uh, Zach was Zach was played their last game, and he and a few of the boys obviously just said like, you know, what I mean, uh, it's no problem for me. Um, uh, and they said, you, uh, you know, I've got the attributes to be able to kind of play uh, in most positions on the pitch, and. Um, at the end of the day, it's just all about going out there and giving giving your best and uh, wherever you're asked to play, and uh, uh, that's just what I try to do. So, um, if I can help out towards the end of the season, playing playing there or playing any other position, um, or obviously playing in my in my normal central midfield midfield position, then I'll, I'll do that. In terms of this season as a whole, how do you sum it up on a personal level? Uh, well, frustrating. Um, uh, for me, on a personal level, it's, it's been a very frustrating one, and um, uh, obviously, uh, just with my injuries, and um, you know, when when the side's going through a hard time, you kind of and the the boys are was a, a bit down. You kind of want to be there and try and try and help as much as you can, and uh, 
try and help to kind of obviously put things right and get some results on the, on the table. And um, uh, but I think at the beginning of of the season when I first got injured, I was getting a bit frustrated and maybe overthinking it. But I started to learn, um, so it's probably probably been good for me that that doesn't really help. And all you can do is uh, at the end of the day, you're going to get injuries and. Uh, all you can do is just work as hard as you can and try and get yourself in the in the best possible shape for when when you're fit and you are uh, needed back in in the squad and that's what I just tried to focus on and um, uh, that's yeah obviously now I'm back I've think played four or five games which is pretty good <laughs> for me because obviously at the beginning of the season I might have played one or two and then I was getting another injury so uh, I've played five in in the last. A uh, week or two, uh, two weeks. So, uh, so just a, a, a kind of achievement for me this season in itself. That shows how hard I've worked for myself to kind of get myself back into into uh, into shape and how much I've worked on little things like my ankle strength and stuff like that, which is going to take time. But um, yeah, I've I've put my head down and really tried to work on it, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll stay fit for the rest of the season. Speak to any player, they always say the worst part is being injured and it can be a very lonely time as a footballer. Um, how have things changed for you now you have a young family to go home to, a son as well? Is that, did that make things easier? Yeah, I mean, yeah, so when you, when you are injured, yeah, it is, it is lonely because obviously the boys are all out on the training pitch and you're kind of just on your own in the gym. You might see them at lunchtime a bit and... Uh, obviously, they go away to away games and stay in hotels, and you're just kind of left, obviously, on your own. Obviously, you're with the physios who have been absolutely great, the massage physios, everyone. Uh, uh, they they really keep your spirits up as well. And then, um, yeah, when you go home, and obviously now I've got my son and uh, my missus. When I get get through that door, you kind of that's definitely helped to kind of put a smile on your face because when you walk in. You know, he, he he doesn't think about that you're injured or you're not playing or you you lost or anything. He just he just loves you for who you are. Do you know what I mean? You're his dad. You're his dad, and you 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 can't be sad around him. You just gotta you gotta put a smile a smile, and that's 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 the things you live for. You know. Mm. Coming up to three years now for you at Ashton Gate. Um, your son born in Bristol. Has the city become a special place for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's obviously now it's like a second home to me. It's been a special place. I've met some of some of my uh, best friends here, and it's people I'm going to be friends with for the rest of my life. And uh, obviously, the the place has been great. The fans have been uh, so supportive to me, and hopefully, it can continue for a long time. You know, I'm, uh, I I love it here and in, enjoy every moment, and uh, um, appreciate the opportunity the club's obviously given me, and um. Yeah, I'll, I'll just always continue to give 100% and uh, uh, enjoy enjoy my time. We know you've worked under Lee Johnson before, as you said, at Oldham. Um, how has he changed as a head coach now at Bristol City? Is, it, is his approach similar or, or do you notice differences? Um, well, obviously it's different um, because at Oldham, you know, it's, it's a smaller club and uh, there's probably not as much... Um, pressure and money and stuff like that to go through the club so um, obviously it's different just like me it's, it's different you there's levels of expectation here and and at Oldham so um, yeah but I think he's he's adapted brilliantly he's he's really good on a we've all really got together you know these last few games we did an exercise in the in the hotel the other day that obviously between ourselves and I think uh uh, what we did in, in, in that hotel has really, really helped and really brought a togetherness uh, in the squad and obviously we've, we've drawn a few games but I mean we've only lost one of the last five games and uh, um, picked up some good results. We've, we've gone away to Newcastle, we've drawn at home against Norwich which is we could have won and Burton we should have won as well so I mean uh, yeah he's, he's really pulled us together and he's, he's, a, he's a brilliant manager and uh, uh, we're looking forward to obviously staying up with the machine and moving on next year. You say about stuff in the hotel, is that sort of 
team bonding activities, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we just did a, we did like a, obviously everything, the, the, the feeling around the place, a lot of people were, the fans are upset and because we haven't won in a while, you know, so it's important that we stuck together, so we just kind of did an exercise to, um, in a way, show the appreciation of each other's uh, positives, you know, uh, um, uh, sh kind of went f went through each other, the other players, and kind of said um, positive things about each other, and um, I think that was a, a brilliant thing to do, the gaffer thought of, and um, uh, I think that that's really helped us in the, in recent weeks. Does it feel like a corner is being turned at the moment in the season? Um, yeah, uh, definitely. I think, like I said, we've we've only lost one one in the last five games, and. Uh, right now, it's about putting points on the board, whether it's draws or wins. Every point's going to be absolutely vital. So, um, yes, yeah, uh, definitely, obviously, getting that win as well could be a could be a major major um, plus for us. Obviously, it is a major plus, but I mean, it could be going into the other games just for that 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 confidence and for the fans and um, and everyone. So. Look, it's, it's still nine games to go, so it's, it's, it's only one win, you can't look, overlook into it, but um, it's definitely, uh, it was a great feeling to get that win and um, hopefully that'll, that'll boost, boost the, the, whole, the whole club and we can look forward to, to the next few games. Don't want to end this interview on a downer, but it's been a long time since we've seen a Corey Smith goal. Is, it, is the next one coming? <laughs> Well, you never know. You yeah, never you know. Um, yeah. Well, maybe, uh, maybe at right back I might get a goal. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. Um, yeah, it'd, it'd be a, it'd be a great thing if I could score an important goal for the team uh, um, between now and the end of the season. Uh, it'd be an amazing feeling. So, yeah, hopefully I can tuck one away. We saw Bailey get one against Norwich. So if he can score. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not six foot odd, so I don't get to go in the box for any set pieces, but, you know, I might get unleashed on one of them soon. <laughs>